Hi everybody, it's uh, Isaiah59. Uh, welcome to again our, our, our Lent Talks. Um, this Today I'm going to be looking, uh, as I said, at Isaiah59. Uh, I'm going to be looking at um, verses 16 through to 21. Um, but first let's pray. Um, Father God, thank you that you allow us this time to come together, to share in your word, to dive deeper into your thoughts and spend time understanding how we can become better Christians together in your eyes. Amen. So the first thing I'm going to do this morning um, or today is is read through from 16 through to 21 uh, and then we're just going to have uh, some thoughts um, in terms of that. So Isaiah 59 starting at verse 16. He saw that there was no one he was appalled that there was no one to intervene, so his own arm achieved salvation for him, and his own righteousness sustained him. He put on righteousness as his breastplate and the helmet of salvation on his head. He put on the garments of vengeance and wrapped himself in zeal as in a cloak. According to what they have done, so he will repay wrath to his enemies and retribution to his foes. He will repay the islands their due. From the west, people will fear the name of the Lord, and from the rising of the sun, they will revere his glory, for he will come like a pent up flood and the breath of the Lord drives along. The Redeemer will come to Zion, to those in Jacob who repent of their sins, declares the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit who is on you will not depart from you and my words that I have put in your mouth will always be on your lips, on the lips of your children and on the lips of their descendants. From this time on and forever, says the Lord. So I, I particularly love um, parts of this passage, particularly uh, verse 21. Um, and it really sort of stands out for me that that amazing thing of those words being um, put, put on my mouth and the, those words being put on your lips, your children's lips and the lips of your descendants from this time on and forever and ever. And it's that feeling of um, knowing that I'm forgiven, knowing that my sins are forgiven, knowing that my children's uh, sins will be forgiven, knowing that my children's children's sins will be forgiven. Uh, and it's that amazing security and complete um, knowledge that, that God has got me, that God has forgiven me, that God knows me, is absolutely oh, just such a great joy, such a great comfort, um, and, and provides that absolutely warmth, security as a Christian for me, knowing that I, I am forgiven and that, that God has done that, that God will um, put on his breastplate of righteousness, his uh, helmet of salvation, uh, and he will look after and protect me. So yeah, so that's that's the takeaway for today is knowing that um, we're forgiven, that God loves us, that we are secure, and that for generations to come, um, God's forgiveness will be on our lips, on our children's lips and on our descendants' lips. Um, and the Spirit will not, not depart. So, Father God, we, th we thank you. We thank you that we are your children, that we are your, the, the brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, and that you have forgiven us and that you love us. Uh, and we just give thanks and we give peace in your name, Lord. Amen. <laughs>